Hello, my name is Gilles Dassert, and I'm one of the corporate chefs here at General Mills. Some of my responsibilities on the team are to support some of our big customers and help them create some of the menu items that their customers will love, as well as help them in their operation, daily operation uh, every day. Today, I'm going to talk to you and take you to a brief presentation talking about our Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. We make two separate kinds. We have the proof and bake cinnamon rolls as well as the place and bake. Today, we are going to talk about the place and bake, and you can see them in front of me. It comes in, of course, many different sizes, but here is an example of a raw puck, we call them cinnamon roll puck, and it basically is, uh, you get it like this in the box, all you have to do is place it on the sheet pan, in the oven, and then when it comes out, it looks like this beautiful cinnamon roll in just a few minutes. Some of the advantage of the place and bake is that you do not need to proof it anymore, so you save on your labor, and you also save in those uh, mistakes that can happen easily when you add some extra steps into a product baking. So I'm going to take you through a brief demonstration using our place and bake cinnamon roll. And what I want to do is show you another way as of how versatile our product is. And then I will talk about some recipes that you can do uh, and make using that same product. So we're going to make an apple stuffed cinnamon roll. And all you have to do is take the puck out of the freezer and place it on a sheet pan just like this. What I did to be able to slice it is I took it out a few minutes ago just so that it slacks a little bit and it makes this procedure easier. And then the next step is simply like the name says it, it the name says it all, is we're going to stuff pieces of apples in the cinnamon roll and we're going to get a great flavor because what is better, right, than apple and cinnamon together. So what I did is I took some uh, fresh apples and I simply cut uh, small slices out of it. It's important not to have too big of slices so that they bake at the same time as the cinnamon rolls. And all I'm doing now is placing them in the slits I just uh, cut, and then we will bake them. Some of the uh, different uh, finishing technique I'm going to show you will also enable you to upscale the product uh, and upsell it, uh, should I say, because they, they will make it more appealing, which at the end of the day will make your customer want it more. So there we have it. All you did is you took your puck, cut a couple uh, slits, and then we stuffed it with the apple. And the next step is simply placing it in the oven. So I'll be right back. And there you have it, the magic of TV. So as you can see, I just followed the uh, directions on the box and baked it. The baking time will depend on the size of your cinnamon roll, so make sure you do uh, read that. And then what you want to do right when it comes out of the oven is uh, brush each cinnamon roll with either corn syrup or simple syrup, like in this uh, particular case, because this will help retain the moisture uh, in each cinnamon roll and it will extend the shelf life. So there you have it. Make sure that you also uh, brush nicely the side of each of them. And then uh, you want to let them cool. So you do that right when it comes out of the oven. The pan is still hot. You want let it, to let it cool for a few minutes before you ice it if you're going to uh, decide to ice it. Otherwise, uh, it will simply run off and look kind of funny. So if you decide to ice it, uh, we make an, a very good uh, vanilla icing uh, on our gold medal brand, and all you have to do is place it in the microwave for a few seconds, and then stir it with a spoon, and you will be ready to uh, drizzle it over each cinnamon roll. I'll show you one just uh, right now, but you'll see that because it's still warm, it's not going to stick as much as it would if you wait an, a few more minutes. So here is an example of what you can do using uh, our cinnamon roll place and bake items and make something a little different. Now I'm going to share with you some additional recipe here to my left. So starting at the top, uh, we are going to talk about this uh, pecan um, 
sticky bun that I made using uh, the mini cinnamon roll. So all you have to do is place the ingredient, the butter, the brown sugar, the pecans at the bottom of a foil pan or a regular hotel pan. Then you place your cinnamon rolls on top. And after baking, baking, all you have to do is invert the pan. So that's another very simple recipe. Down right here is the recipe I just showcased for you. So this is our apple stuffed cinnamon roll. You can see the two different versions. Over here, you've got it iced. And then back over here, it's just brushed with the corn syrup or simple syrup. So very easy. Moving down one more, this is actually uh, my favorite recipe. It's our cinnamon roll French toast. I love it for two reasons. First of all, it's delicious. And second of all, you use your leftovers so you don't end up throwing some delicious food that can be reused. So just using a day old cinnamon roll, you slice it in half and then you place it in your typical egg and milk uh, French toast batter and you griddle it just like you would do a French toast and this is fantastic. Moving down one more, we've got our mini BLT cinnamon roll. So let's go a little bit on the savory side. And all, you, all I did is cut a small 1.5 ounce cinnamon roll. And then we uh, basically build it like a regular sandwich to make a BLT out of it. Moving to the left, we've got some pre-packaged options, three of them. One of them is a simple cinnamon roll with icing. Then down below, you've got two examples of making waffles out of cinnamon rolls. So all I did is take my cinnamon roll puck and placed it in the waffle iron for two minutes. And over here, you've got a sandwich. So pulled pork and corn salsa using uh, our cinnamon roll and waffles. So a pulled pork waffle, uh, really nice contrast of the sweet cinnamon and savory pulled pork. Back here, you've got some pre-packaged cinnamon roll waffle that you can just sell at your register, for example. And down here is our, pe uh, our pecan sticky bun once again, but I put it in a foil pan so that you can sell it as a to-go offering that people can reheat in their home and eat with their family later. So I hope that these ideas have been helpful and that you will want to experiment more with our cinnamon roll in the future. If you want some more great recipes, please go to our website at generalmillscf.com and I hope to see you soon again.